Victor Cassidine thinks he's got it all figured out on General Hospital. He's got this toxin, right? And he's going to release it, right? And 80% of the planet is going to die, right? And he and his family will get a vaccine, right? Then, with only the 20% of the world with natural immunity still alive, Victor, Charles Shaughnessy, will have built a better world for all. Yay, celebration, come on. Um, why isn't anybody singing? Victor has thought of everything. What could go wrong well? First of all, has Victor thought about the fires and explosions that will break out when people unexpectedly die while flying planes and driving cars and cooking and ironing and smoking? Has he thought about the nuclear reactors that will overheat with nobody alive to avoid meltdowns? How about the dams that will burst? So that might be a teeny tiny wrinkle. But as long as Victor isn't anywhere near the radiation and the fires and the floods, he should still be oak. Natural disasters are for little people to deal with. Oh, yeah. And speaking of those little people, has Victor given any thought to them? Has Victor Cassidine ever spent a day without servants in his life? Does he know how to make his own meals? Do his own laundry? Drive his own car? Process his own gasoline? For that matter, not only will there not be enough people to farm the land and process the food that Victor is so used to eating, there will be no one to serve it to him. Sure, 20% of the population left sounds like enough to hire a household of help. But A. They might not all be physically near him. B. They might not have the skills he requires to continue living in the lifestyle he's always known. C. They might not want to work for him. That last part is the trickiest. Money might lose all value if there is nothing to buy with it. And with money losing value, why would anyone need to work for Victor? And then where does that leave him? General Hospital airs weekdays on ABC. For more about what's coming up in Port Charles, check out all our latest GA spoilers, and for an in-depth look at the show's history, click here.